We're heading down Interstate 10 towards Palm Springs, going through the San Gorgonian Pass. This is the gateway into the Coachella Valley, which is one of the windiest places in Southern California. And what better place for a wind farm? Driving past the wind turbines is just majestic and futuristic to view. It's just something about the wind. It's just so cool. We're staying in Desert Hot Springs, which is about 11 miles north of Palm Springs. We're nestled in the Coachella Valley between two mountain ranges. Looking out our front window, you see the little San Bernardino Mountains to the north. And then turn around and you look out the side dining window and you see the San Jacinto Mountains to the south. Again, the view is just magical. So right outside our RV park is an open area in the desert, which I'd like to walk a few times in the morning. First time out there, I was just in awe of the sights of the mountains on both sides. But what especially caught my attention were the wind farms. This is something we're going to have to go investigate. This rainbow was a special bonus for me. Wow, look how big it is. This wind farm on the San Gorgonio Mountain Pass is one of the three major wind farms in California. It contains more than 4,000 separate windmills and provides enough electricity to power Palm Springs and the entire Coachella Valley. A little bit of action going on today, not as much as the other day when we were here. What action going on today? Not as much as the other day when we were here. Not much at all. But you can see how this renewable energy is actually dependent on Mother Nature. Things are quiet today. And yet, there's a little action where they're starting to wake up. Right now, these wind turbines aren't making any money. You can see those solar panels are. Beautiful sunny day. Here we are up on the hill again. You can see forever. Let's see if we can figure out where we are with our RV park. So this is a road we came in on. And we are probably right about there. One of the great things about your home having wheels on it is that when you 
find yourself coming back to an area like this that just for whatever reason mesmerizes you you can actually do just that and come back here and stay so next time we come here we're gonna actually stay up where this guy has and uh, I'll be right back Sue I'm gonna go check to see if they have full hookups and I want to see you know exactly what the rates are so I'll be right back Our second uh, route out here to look at the windmills. So now where are we going, Mark? Well, I want you to look at the map here. I'm taking you to have a date shake. And it's going to be called a date shake date. Come on, let's go. better way to end our little uh, touring of the wind turbines or otherwise known as windmills. Well not only that, can you imagine what a sport I am and how many points I'm getting for taking my uh, girlfriend who just happens to be <laughs> my <laughs> wife <clears throat> out for a happy Valentine's Day date shake. Ah there you go. Yeah. We're here at the windmill right. market. It's a romantic and it keeps you regular. The main thing is we're going for the date shake. Woo! Yeah. Here's my date. Mark took me on a date for a date shake. Wow. It's good. Is that part of the Valentine's Day uh, mm. treat? Man. He, he treats is, me good. I was just going to say, he's really good to you. And I'm running away because I'm not sharing it once I eat right. today. Like I said earlier, there's something about the wind that's so mesmerizing. It's everywhere. You can feel it, but you can't touch it. You can see it, and yet not. Hmm.